today is an absolutely exciting day for Melbourne, for Victoria, and indeed, I think, for Australia. What we've got here is an absolutely unique opportunity to make a real difference in terms of economic opportunities, lifestyle, and in terms of how our city, our state, and our country uh, directs itself into the future. What we've got here is 775 hectares of development land right in the heart of the fast growing area of Wyndham, right in the heart of Melbourne's west. And to give some context to that, 775 hectares is five times the size of the Melbourne CBD and Docklands put together. That's the size of this precinct. In the past 100 years, this site has been used as a state research farm. But over the last 20 or 30 years, the research and development has been downsized and relocated more appropriately to larger farming areas where the research is more relevant and more appropriate. And the challenge was, is how can you use this unique site, this large area of land that is so strategically located in a positive way to make a real difference to this great state. And what is being launched here today is the precinct structure plan for this area. And what it will deliver is 58,000 jobs for this region, 7,000 homes, 20,000 residents. What it means is that people who are living in the greater Wyndham area, at Wyndham Vale, at Manor Lakes, at Tarnit, at Hoppers Crossing, people who are living in the west of Melbourne will also be employed here. So again, we'll actually diversify employment of high quality jobs into this region. So this is about creating jobs where people live in Melbourne's west, jobs in some of our fastest growing industries and areas. And so this structure plan is an exciting structure plan. It's absolutely essential and it's a government responsibility to put in the appropriate infrastructure. And I can be pleased to advise you today that we are already working ahead of the game to put in the appropriate infrastructure. So what we've provided is $40 million for the Snides Road intersection with the Princess Freeway. Plus we've provided $26 million for major arterial road upgrades. And of course, the uh, Hoppers Lane intersection, which is a bane of many people's lives. The Hoppers Lane intersection is an area that needs work, but if you're going to have this development, it's absolutely imperative that we bring that work forward. And that's what we're doing. This project will also include a large area of waterways and open space. So it'll have that right balance between open space, about looking after the environment, and also providing job opportunities and a range of residential opportunities. This area will be absolutely the capital and the focus of Melbourne's West and something that we can all be very, very proud of. It is an honour and privilege for me to be here today as Premier of the State to launch the precinct structure plan for the Werribee East Employment Zone. This is a terrifically exciting day, a great opportunity, and I believe it will be something that will be etched in our history for decades to come. Central to everything we are going to do in the western suburbs has to be this precinct, the East Werribee Employment Precinct. And this precinct, which will be in the next few decades home to 58,000 jobs, is going to be the capital of Melbourne's new west. It genuinely is going to be a third CBD slap bang right in the middle, 35 kilometres from Melbourne and 40, 45 kilometres from the Greater Geelong area.